Hi, my name is Aishwarya and I'm a video producer with the multimedia team at Down to Earth. Today we will be talking about the new COVID-19 variant codenamed Eris. A new variant of COVID-19 codenamed Eris is spreading rapidly across the United Kingdom. The variant EG.5.1, also known as Eris, has descended from the rapidly spreading Omicron, according to the UK Health Security Agency. Eris accounts for one in seven new COVID cases in the UK, making it the second most prevalent variant in the country. So, how bad is the new COVID-19 variant? The UK government started monitoring the first signal of EG.5.1 on July 3, 2023, and within a month, it was declared a variant due to its rapid increase in UK's genome data. Since then, it has had a significant growth advantage of 20.5% over other strains. According to media reports, the five most common symptoms of Eris are runny nose, headache, fatigue, sneezing and sore throat. The accelerated spread of the new variant also explains the recent rise in cases and hospitalization in the UK. Interestingly, the rise in COVID-19 cases in the UK has been attributed to several factors. This includes the waning immunity from previous vaccinations or infections, more people in congested indoor settings due to a heavy summer, and the rise of public gatherings in music concerts and movie screenings. But despite the increase in cases, hospital admission rates in the UK remain relatively low, particularly among younger age groups. While the Eris variant is currently causing concern in the UK, the variant XBB.1.16, also known as Arcturus, still remains the dominant variant, accounting for 39.4% of all cases in the UK. The experts also emphasise that there is currently no evidence to suggest that Eris is more dangerous or causes more severe disease than previous variants. And it's not just UK. COVID cases have also been increasing once again in several countries, such as the United States and Japan, due to a new, fast-spreading Eris variant. However, it has not been officially reported in India yet. According to the WHO, the countries should not let their guard down and need to make sure the people are better protected by vaccines and proper precautions. To know more about the latest news on science, technology and climate change, head to the Down to Earth channel linked in the description.